Hello everyone, I am Nitin Rajput, presently serving as a research assistant in Delhi University. In today's video, I will give brief overview of our Magma Virtual Lab. So first, we need to deploy a Magma Orchestrator with one IP. So for that, we first need to clone our code. Let's clone it. It's cloning and then change directory to our now we need to change directory to our deploy folder ls so we have clone our code so let's see the steps which we have to follow so we are on ubuntu so we need to install the ansible and their collection which i have already done so i am skipping this part second step is to copy our public ssh key to the host which i have already done so i am skipping this part now we have to update the, some values in host.yaml file so for that we need to do some changes in our host.yaml file which is this file hmm. so here we need to provide a host ip which is your virtual machine ip which you have created to deploy a magma orchestrator and civil user will be one to I am commenting this deploy or AWS now you have to give the domain so I am giving galaxynitin.com save it cross check the changes we have made ensure that we have provided the correct host ip this is 90 now what was the next step now next step simply deploy orchestrator so you can see we have done changes in the host.yaml and we are using this file to deploy a magma orchestrator so simply paste the command here now it will installing on the prerequisites and other component So now we have to paste this DNS into our etc hosts file. So go inside etc. Post. Now we need to paste it here. So we have pasted the DNS here. Uh, we only need to do minor changes here. Instead of a star, we will use magma test. Exit, save it. No. What was the next step? Is to create a user. So first we need to check that 
all our pods are running or not so as you can see it is creating so we will wait when all pods are running we will create a user so almost all pods are in running and running so now we can create our user so what was the command let me clear this screen providing the certificates This command will set the username and password for our user. Now, so we need to paste DNS to our browser. this is enter accept the risk and continue so now we have to provide add uh, email and password so what was the email we have used email is admin password is also admin so we need to paste this thing to our login so we are on our nms dashboard so now Click on add network button, give any network ID name, I am giving net, name is also net, description also net, net. save this, now to go on network management. So far, we have deployed our Magma Orchestrator with one IP and also accessed our NMS dashboard. Now I will show Access Gateway and SRS RAN which were already deployed on our private cloud using OpenStack on Kubernetes OOC. So now, if I go inside equipment, you will see there is one gateway connected, AZW. If I go inside it, the health is good. This is the access gateway. Now, if I go on events, you can see events are coming. Now, logs are also coming. So, this is the overview of access gateway. One subscriber is attached to it. Now, the second part is SRS RAN. So for that, I need to go in the terminal. Now you can see 
SRN SRAN deployed UE and E node B. So here we can see that now you can see one session is created for subscriber one. I have and one session is created. Events are coming here, which you can see. So this is the brief overview of our Magma Virtual Lab. Thank you for watching this video.